General citation guidelines can be found in the Navigating Digital Teaching Collections page of the Special Collections Digital Teaching Collections Research Guide. MLA calls for seven cited elements, creator, date of creation, title, collection name, repository name, date accessed, and a citable URL. Regardless of the type of item, there will always be a click for details section below the image screen. Clicking on that will open up a list of additional information about the resource, data that we will use to create a citation. Sometimes this process is very straightforward. Take this image for example, which would be cited as follows. Title, Inaugural Parade, 1973. Creator, Capital and Glogal. Creation date, 1973. Collection, University of Tennessee Marching Band Collection. Repository, University of Tennessee Knoxville Special Collections. The access date would be whatever you viewed the resource, which would be August 18th, 2020 in this case, and the URL appears at the top of the browser. Unfortunately, not all resources will have all seven elements available, and there may be some confusion over what exactly to cite. This short comic, for example, is not as straightforward as other resources might be. We can see clearly the creation date, title, and repository, and of course, we'll have the access date and URL. There doesn't appear to be a clear creator though, and we're given two different collection names. For the purposes of MLA, a publisher or copyright holder cannot stand in in the place of creator, unless there is a label saying photographer, author, illustrator, creator, etc. The creator is considered anonymous, and that element is left off the citation. Also, when you're using digital collections, that is the type of collection name that goes in your citation, not Estes Kefauver papers in this instance, but Kefauver crime documents. So, these are the final citations we end up with.